Good day, everyone. Hope you're having a great week. Appreciate your taking time to watch today. Um, I'd like to go straight to a couple of scriptures. Let's start with 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 15. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have and do this with gentleness and respect. Second verse we'd like to look at is um, from 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 2. And this is Paul writing to a young preacher by the name of Timothy. Preach the word. Be prepared in season and out of season. Convince, rebuke, and encourage with long suffering and teaching. Um, let's go to prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this time together. Thank you for your holy word that was written by your spirit. Please bless this time together for the nourishment for all here and all things to your glory. In Jesus' name, we humbly pray. Amen. Again, thank you for taking time to watch today. Um, we're entering a very busy time of year. I mean, life's busy throughout the year, but particularly during the holidays. We just finished Fall Festival here at Shiloh, and in November, it's officially, I guess, officially the holiday season with Thanksgiving and Christmas. But while life is busy during this time of year is when things really kick into overdrive. We wanted to share these thoughts um, as we're entering this season. Um, the scripture that selected for today, um, just notice that it, we're being encouraged to share the good news of Jesus Christ. Just keep in mind during the holidays, we're, the main thing we're celebrating is being thankful and obviously the, we're celebrating the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we're encouraged to share the good news, to share the joy that we have with long suffering, with gentleness, with respect. And I would say even with a conviction and firmness, with, with surety, knowing that we're sure of our salvation because of the blood of Jesus Christ. We're going to have opportunities this time of year that we don't get necessarily other times of year in social events involving many people um, from work, from school, from church, from other social groups we may interact with. And also, we're going to have opportunities with family that we may not get at other times of the year. Perhaps relatives we only see once or twice a year, or friends we only see once or twi twice a year. Uh, let's not miss these opportunities by being worn out. Um, it is it is busy it is good to be busy and take care of things and be involved totally agree and we all should be but let's not be let's be mindful to take time and rest jesus himself it took time to remove himself from the crowd to rest and pray when pastor eddie preached this past weekend from mark and was talking about jesus was asleep on the boat when they were going to the other side he was resting. Uh, again, Jesus would get weary from a journey as quoted in scripture and would rest and pray so that he could be revitalized to share the good news and minister to others. Elijah in the Old Testament, even after the great victory over the priest of Baal, um, was faced with another confrontation and for whatever reason, he took his eyes off the Lord and fled to the wilderness. But God restored him, gave him what he needed, and addressed his spiritual and physical needs, and, and Elijah returned, but he needed rest as well. That was contributing to his, his spiritual um, struggles at that moment. And again, so as we face this very busy holiday season with so much going on, let's remember what's most important and get rest and to be ready. When Jesus was visiting Martha and Mary, Martha was very busy taking care of business in the house. Mary sat at Jesus' feet. And when Martha got upset and went to Jesus, uh, Jesus reminded her that Mary had chosen the best thing, and that was to spend time with Jesus. Now, I'm not saying neglect, take care, taking care of business at home, work, school, wherever, but at the same time, be mindful what our priority is and as stated in Peter to to give an account and share the reason for the hope that is in us. It's a lot easier to be ready if we do get plenty of rest as we can and a rest when we can to it helps while we're busy 
to give witness as opportunities present themselves. So let's keep our eyes focused on Jesus as we go through this holiday season. And try not to get caught up in the political and family squabbles that often occur during some of these gatherings, particularly family gatherings, things from long ago resurfacing. Uh, Proverbs 15.1, a kind word turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Let's keep in mind why we're here. Let's take the opportunity to, with gentleness and long suffering, to present the gospel as we have opportunity, particularly to loved ones and to everyone, but there are those that are dear to us that we feel like need Jesus. Let's not miss those opportunities to not do it in anger, but do it with confidence and firmness and gentleness, genuinely caring for one another. Be careful to, um, or be mindful to give the joy, to share the joy and the reason for your joy that is in you, and that is Jesus Christ. Again, thank you for taking time to watch today. If you've never accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, I encourage you to do so today. Um, he died on the cross for all our sins. I'm a sinner like anyone else. If you've never accepted Jesus, accept and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior to wash away your sins and share the good news with someone you know. And please find a good church. You're welcome to join us here at 2271 Altry Mill Road here in Godwin, North Carolina at Shiloh Pentecostal Church. And again, thank you for taking time to watch. Hope you get the holiday season off to a great start and have a good rest of your week. Take care.